I love to upcycle and inspire you and teach you how to do these things. Hello, I just wanted to show you what not to pass up at a thrift store. I collect several wood items and then I glue them together with 360. I'm gonna paint them in similar colors. I post every week on this channel. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date. Well, I got this one for $7, chunky piece. I'm doing a whole bunch more putting together for my fireplace, or it looks really good right here too. Make them the same but different. And this is what you can do. This piece right here is made with five different pieces of wood that I got. One, two, three, four, five. And I just E60 glued them together, put them together like a piece of puzzle. Look how cute. And then I just found a little old metal tray and like screwed it into the top of it. This one was the two table legs that I took off of the table and put the tops together with During this crazy time of 2020, I am missing the thrift stores. I kind of hunt to say it's like, I call it my bar, like they're my bars and sometimes I have to stay away from the bars. My thrift store bar, don't pass up wood. <laughs> my cat, Siamese cats, don't pass those up. She did a acrobatics in there. Huge upholstery because people pee on their couches and stuff. But what, you can clean it up, you can stain it, you can paint upholstery. And restaurants, I really wanna go and eat at a restaurant. Creating my vignette of mismatched, missed size, but all in the same color family that I'm putting together, candlestick holders. I just put that over sporadically on this piece. I don't know where that footage is. I used my mouse sander to distress it, but because of the plaster of Paris, it made it kind of hard to just wet distress it like I am here. So I did both techniques. Now I'm just taking weather wood and brushing some over the top, just kind of sporadically, because I want it to look like several layered textures. Now I'm using Sandy Blonde and just putting that on in different spots as well. Now I am taking my clear wax and putting it over the entire piece, and then I will go and use my dark wax on top of it so that it didn't just look too dirty. I wanted some control by using the clear first, then I could wipe it back to just make it aged looking. So I take another rag, I always work with two rags, rags. My wet one, maybe another wet one, but sometimes dry. And then I just kind of, after I'm completely done wet distressing, then I'll just go back and just kind of take that cloudiness off of there a little bit. It'll just be a little cloudy. And then I just wipe it with a clean one and it takes, see the texture I created by going all different directions. And then when I did my top coat over it, see how it grabs and makes a whole nother dimension. Four. Medley Market. $40 and nobody bought it. Can you believe that? So I was like, it's. I did those lamps for a Facebook Live and didn't have the marquee red that I needed in the town I was working in. So I did end up changing them because they just looked better with the pops of red I had in this room. Please follow me on Decorizing Your Life Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'm on here every Friday, Eastern Standard Time at 1. Be on the DIY go go YouTube network she started YouTube uniform 2020 pajama pants <laughs>